Alright. Hello and welcome back to Vingroth's Crazed Hoarder Adventures. Last time, um... I don't remember, we did a lot of things. That was, I was like, it was last Friday. We did like a lot of side quests. We, we confronted Benny last time. Um... I think we finished up the boomers earlier, so I think, we yeah, but we confronted Benny, um, we didn't actually catch him at all, we didn't kill him, he apparently went off to, um, to the fort, which is cool, because now we're neutral with this, with Caesar's Legion, who friggin' chase me down everywhere I go, so for the time being, I'm happy about that. Now, I'm not gonna go there right away, there's a, something that you miss out on, if your hand-to-hand -hand isn't 50, and you go visit that area. So, I'm gonna be just heavily, like, every time I level, putting everything into hand-to-hand -hand combat. So yeah, um, today, I noticed there was something on my map, and it looks like, I guess, we talked to Veronica enough that she revealed the location, hey Lord Nervar, uh, she revealed the location of the Brother of Steel. So I just wanna give her, like, talk to her a minute, maybe to ask a bit more about the Brothers of Steel, and then I think we might be able to head over and start questing for them. So let's just talk to her. What's up? Um, also it's Felicia Day, so it's like talking to Felicia Day. Um, I have questions I want to ask you. He was dead when I got there. <laughs> um, let's see, what do you think of the NCR? I'm worried they'll be the death of the Brotherhood. They take what they want, we defend our interests to the death. But, there's a handful of us, and tens or hundreds of thousands of them, so it's not going to end well. Mm. Last time we clashed, we lost a lot of people, retreated to our bunker. Now we're afraid to even move around during the day. Hmm. We're going to be working with the NCR, but I think we can do a truce, if we can. So tell me about yourself. I like long walks in the desert and candlelit metal workshops. Alright, well that's good. Um. What are your goals? I want... a dress. A dress? Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come across some old world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. That's your goal? You want a nice dress? Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. Let's. Alright, well, that was interesting. Oh, wait, she can tell me a little bit more about the brother. What's up? I think I saw that. Uh, let's see, questions. Yeah, tell me about the brother of steel. It pays like ass, but it's hard to get other work with my skill set. What do you want to know? Um... How did she get to be a member? More sexual favors than I can even count. I am still tired from it. No, actually, you're born into it. My parents, their parents, so on. When you're young, you can choose to leave, but it's home, so most people don't. We don't take on new members, really. You can do the math on our long-term prospects based on that point. I keep hoping we'll change that. Hmm, okay. What's the Codex? Ah, the Codex. If it's in there, we have to abide it. If it's not, it's not important. It documents our history, too. Part of what scribes like me do is update it. Hmm, I wonder. Nah, they'd probably catch it if I rewrote the Founder's axioms. Hmm. Ooh, does the brother protect people from raiders and other threats? <laughs> yeah, Lord Nerevar. It's fantastic. It's cool because a lot of the followers you can find really early on, too. Like, Eddie's the first one you can find. We might be using him later on. And he's in Prim, like, just down the road from Good Springs. And uh, Cassidy is, um... She's, like, right at the, uh, the NCR... What is it called? The, the Mojave Outpost which is along the same road. Like, it's crazy how many... And Boone and Novak, like, you basically wander around the place and get, like, at least exposure to, like, four different followers. It's crazy. 
anymore. I do want to know this. No, no. We only protect people from themselves, and only in the sense that we don't let them have the really good pre-war toys. Mm. And sometimes it's more like we protect ourselves from them and hope to outlive them and become humanity's sole heirs. We've had people go rogue, though, and start helping people. One chapter had a small civil war over it. We take our isolationism seriously. Interesting. So they usually don't help other people. Let's keep moving. Let's. Alright. Well, hopefully having her with me will, um, not be weird. Oh, you have no idea what you're doing in this game? It's, it's a lot of fun. I, I, it's, it's fantastic. You'll, you'll love it. There is one thing I do want to check out. We're going to go along this road only because there was, it, it, like, the first A World of Pain area that we ever saw was was around this place. And I want to see if I can take it on now. I mean, I was, like, level, like, two or three when I was doing it, so, yeah. Oh, shit. Ooh, animal control perk, rank one. Oh, and if you can, Lord Nervar, definitely add some of the mods that I have listed below. Because they're fantastic. That made a very odd noise, me bouncing off that tree. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Alright. Now, I am entering the Powder Gang area, so... Oop, that's not the right weapon at all. Oh, there's my Watts laser rifle. It's so fantastic. I need more microfusion cells, though. It's the only issue. It's, uh, it's like, it's fantastic. I've been using just normal, like, hunting rifles. You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. Here's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come run it. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. Well, all right. I guess that'll come in handy for something. Hmm. Yeah, the powder gangers do not like me. I was using just normal, like, hunting rifles for a long time, but this Watts laser rifle's absolutely fantastic. It's basically a hunting rifle, but it shoots lasers, which is awesome. Though I have to be careful. I might have to conserve my ammo, I'm not sure. I might conserve my ammo. This recharger pistol's great for that. Because it doesn't use anything. I do hear people down there. Is there any other... What weapons do I actually have on me right now? I could use the incinerator. Let's do it. Hey. Oh. I'd say that worked pretty well. Someone's still running around, maybe? both of them at the same time. Awesome. I'll take a single shotgun. It's worth a decent amount. Oh, hey. Explosives crate. Oh, yeah, like, stealing from powder gangers is really, like, bad karma. <laughs> if you got questions, Lord Nerevar, go ahead and ask, too, if you're, like, having trouble, like, understanding some of the stuff in New Vegas. Close combat, definitely going to use the recharger pistol. Alright. Now this was the first world pain area that we came to. It was weird. We died very quickly. So we're going to see if we can't... I don't know, survive longer? We'll have to see. 
It could be that a world of pain is still too difficult for us, even at level 21, but we'll have to see. Because these places have amazing things. Wow, I killed that dude. Ooh, hey. That seemed to have worked. Let's sleep this locker. A metal spoon. How'd he do? Sunset Cesspool anymore because I actually. Oh shit. Come on. Oh shit. It's Vat's time. Had enough? Good thing this thing has such low Vat's cost. It's ridiculous. Whoa! It was because we were exploring this when we were like level one. That could be an issue, right? Come on! Right away, nice. I always need right away. Whoa! <laughs> There's his head gone! He's got microfusion stuff. We had a plasma rifle. Awesome. So freaky. I can sleep here if I'm crazy. I think I will actually. Pre war book. Tobacco chew. anybody else in here. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Let's see what this term Rick's terminal. Rick's diary. Dad showed me how to use this old computer, so we decided to keep a journal of our life down here. Dad uh the key to this pre-war bunker from a nearby merchant. Uh, thanks to this old um, his old uh, hunting down criminals, and of course the fact that he's the very best. Uh, now we have enough caps to settle down as a family. Oh my. It looks like... Oh gosh. It looks like his family lived on this bunker and probably they came back. Let's see. That stupid kid uh, will make a damn fine stew. Little shit took out two of my boys, though. Uh, well, at least we lucked out on this place. They have a cool new gun, so Eddie um, boots us out of the prison after we eat another dead guy. Uh, well, what the fuck are we supposed to eat? Our own shit? I'll kill that piss weasel one day. 
Oh my. <laughs> so, you know, a bunch of cannibal criminals moved in, I guess. Let's see that, uh, that weapon he's talking about might be cool. <laughs> hey, Stormy Zim, how's it going? I'm in a, a modded area of uh, Fault New Vegas right now, which is pretty difficult, but we've been actually doing all right so far. It could be that I gave Veronica a ballistic fist, which is basically like a shotgun attached to a little pressure plate. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, ooh, freezer box. Strange meat. Nope, I'm not going to eat that. I'm not going to eat that. Flamer fuel, nice. Hammer? I'm not sure if we're gonna come up to some like crazy name dude though. Bathroom stall. Oh hey! Chinese spec ops, awesome. Hmm. Maybe that gun was the gun we found upstairs. Oh really, Stormy? Um, pretty much that's what you want to do. You get a, a, the most experience from doing random quests in uh, in Elder Scrolls Online. More than you do grinding, really. So the more quests you do, the better. Um, I mean, to give you a reference, my character's level 36. Uh, but we might be starting new characters soon, so we'll see. Maybe add you to, uh, to the crew on uh, Saturday, which would be pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. What kind of character are you playing? Like, what race and everything? Oh, here it is. Okay, Force Sneak added. Awesome. I think the cool gun he was talking about. Oh, you're like seven. Uh, I think the cool gun was like the snake gun, which was like a single. Your name was a spaceman. Awesome. A dark elf. Awesome. Yeah, my character's a dark elf, too. Spirit of 2002. Interesting. Yeah, I think it was the snake gun. Unless, ooh, is it one of these? Probably not then. Oh, oh, I need a BB gun. Holy crap. I actually need a BB gun. <gasps> now we can make the, the Hauke Gaussen. Which is some friggin' crazy thing. This place has seen better days, hasn't it? What's his name? Oh, um, what was it? Um, was it Lamont? Was Lamont the name of your guy? I think it was Lamont. Lamont the Mr. T dwarf. The gauntlet. I think that that was the name. All right, I've got to check this out. I've needed a BB gun to craft this crazy weapon for a long time, and I need to do it. Yeah, Lamont. Yep. <laughs> no problem. I'm not sure if you can change your name. You might be able to. They usually allow you that kind of customization in, like, Bethesda in general, but we'll see. Oh, have you seen the um, Default 4 stuff? It's friggin' crazy. I was waiting for more people to start talking about it, but holy cow. There's, like, 50 in-game weapons with, like, 700 different combinations. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The weapon modding you can do is crazy. As well as you can actually, like, build, like, fortresses, basically. Deconstruct different piles of stuff. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, so what did I need for this crazy thing? I needed a... Plasma... Yeah, I needed this. Oh, really? Huh. Alright. Let's see, what was the... You're a crafting bench when I need it. What's, What's up? Ah, uh, you don't like the steampunky style? Like, old, more like fantasy? I got gotcha. you. I understand that. Step into my office. Alright, so we're gonna look at weapons. We're looking at the Hakagausen which needs a recharger rifle. I just need a recharger rifle, which I have. 
This was the... It, it's modded. I don't know what it is, really. But it's supposed to be... Uh, we found this, this schematic in Nobark's room. And Nobark is, like, just this crazy dude. Uh, let's see. Recharge it right. So I'm pretty interested to see what kind of gun would be in this dude's house. Okay. What's, What's up? up? Craft something. Hakagausen. It uses BBs. Interesting. See you around. Okay. What the hell is it? I've just been so curious to see what this is. Oh my gosh! What the hell? It's like a... It's a Gauss rifle... With a BB gun? What? It is! It's a it's a Gauss rifle. With the what? Quick save. What the hell is this? Well, its accuracy sucks. <laughs> Where'd he go? doesn't seem to be that good. <laughs> can I mod it? Okay, so I can mod it. Oh! Oh snap! What? Attack damage plus 233. That could change something. That could change something. Okay. Yeah, because it does 15 damage now, and it would do something more like 30, which is awesome. Okay, let me try that then. Alright, I think this guy might have... A plasma weapon accelerator? I don't know. Oh, come here. How you doing? Welcome back. Can I... Alright. Sure thing. Have a look. I think he does. Let's see, that's laser pistol recycler. Hey, Bower Bean, how's it going? All right. Increased pressure. I don't think that's. I'll buy it anyway because it's cheap. <laughs> Let's see. No, he doesn't have it. Oh well. I don't think the increased pressure is the thing we were looking for, though. Nah, it wasn't. It was custom mechanism, which increases accuracy. It might be our new sniper rifle. We'll have to see. We just used... Combined, like, a recharger rifle with a BB gun. And created this thing. Which has some sort of, like, Gauss rifle sort of effect to it. But I need a couple weapon mods to make it, like, more effective. That was pretty cool. That was actually worth finding for, uh, for the BB gun. Alright, now, there we go, Hidden Valley. That's where we need to go. Alright. What have you been up to, Stormy Zim? Sniper BB gun, I know, right? Just, like, hit with this small pellet and the dude's head friggin' explodes. <laughs> Because uh, that's how this game works. <laughs> if you have the right perks for it. Oh crap, that's not the right weapon at all. You know what, I haven't used a grenade in a long, long time. Do I have... Yeah, I've got so much dynamite. Alright, cool, Stormy, cool. What's that? What the hell is... Something being attacked. Oh, cool, cool. We'll have to get together sometime then. Between uh, then and now. Alright. 
try to lob Grenade. some dynamite. Well, I friggin' did it. Is that a dude? I didn't expect to get both of them. Is there a man running inside of that? What the hell? There's a man. I got worse. I got work though. That's the only problem. I know, right? I know, Power Bean. I can't wait for Fallout 4 either. Holy crap. If you haven't already, um, and you're watching, you you have to check out the um, Bethesda E3 conference. It is actually on YouTube if you look it up. Um, where are the two dudes I just blew up? They were like here, weren't they? Did one fly over this one? Oh, cool, Stormy. Awesome. I could have sworn I killed two dudes. <laughs> Unless they just had nothing on them. Which I guess could be possible. Alright then. I think I shot one of their dynamites by accident. There's no way I could have done that on purpose. Oh man. More stim packs though. Good stuff. Alright, so the Brother of Steel bunker should be yep, over this way. Explosive you're carrying. <laughs> oh man. Oh my. Oh gosh. Ow. What was my favorite game of the conference? Looking forward to fall, like Doom looked really amazing. Ow. These boxing gloves. Alright. If they if I can sleep, I will. Yeah, nice. Whew. Ooh. We go. Uh, some of the fellas farther north are trying to organize. We're starting to think it's a good idea. Got to pull resources. We're going to survive out here. Um, I'm sure you've noticed the decline in travelers. Um, if they're getting wise, so should we. Okay, I think they left frag mines here, which was one of the explosions. But man, that, that fall for like, friggin, oh my gosh, the, the way that you can make different, um, the way that you can make like forts is ridiculous. And so is like the insane amount of weapon modding that you can do. Like it's crazy. Oh, they're dynamite charges. Oh no wait, they're not. What are they? What's a Spartan? Spartan? Um... Um... That could be a couple different things, but it's usually in reference to, um... 
the ancient dudes from Sparta? I'm not sure if that's what you're referring to. I wasn't expecting to find just a group of powder gangers in the middle of nowhere. Alright, here it is. Hidden Valley Bunker. secrets here actually if I can recall I know this is where you find the um, the brothers steel bunker is this it right friggin here I didn't even try <laughs> I didn't even try oh my gosh I think there's other secrets though besides this if this, is this the right one? It might not be, we'll have to see. Let's just check it out first. I think there's a couple... Space, oh, read journal. This location seems like it might be a good safe house, uh, warm, dry, some sort of crazy natural phenomenon at night. Um, that should keep the predators away. Um, I'd love to get start up. Okay. Uh, but there are a few nearby points of interest. I need to gather until first. Not sure how long it'll take. Journal of someone. Anything cool like on top of these? <laughs> Look under a rock. I think that's one of the places. You hear nothing. Hello? You hear nothing. Oh, hey, I can open it. Crap. Hey, Charlie Scene, how's it going? Should I open it? I'm gonna open it. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's, um, there's, like, secret caches. Yeah, it has, like, a, some sort of, usually, like, some sort of graffiti on the rock, yeah. So close. Well, well, I'd say that's not your place to be looking for. <laughs> I don't know who had this journal here. I don't see anybody. Let's keep looking. That seems a little too easy to find the Brotherhood of Steel Bunker that early. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Out rock. Where's this graffiti though? Yeah, here it is. Yep, it's got like a nuke and a heart on it. Alright, just a few things. Oop, is that it? I like how people like to do graffiti here. That's just like a common thing. a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. We gave you a password, Veronica. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. <sighs> for Pete's sake. Opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. Oh snap, that's all that's so cool. I think like if you don't have or you get like kidnapped and stuff. 
they like take your stuff and try to like you know be like who are you blah 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 but since she's here she just like opens up the door that's so cool I'm excited I always like seeing the brother of steel Listen up, I'm in charge of security around here, and I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Just behave yourself, and we won't have any problems, okay? Oh, and the Elder's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. Sweet. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Looking sharp, Ramos. Behave yourself this time, Veronica. <laughs> Veronica's a troublemaker. Oh, can't go that way. Ooh. Oh. Oh. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to ask you to just wait Should've outside brought here. Don't mind me. What? Okay, I was detected for like a second. How am I being detected? Is there someone in this room and I don't see them? Find another chance to do that again. Aww. There was a lot of good ammo in there. What is going on? Ooh, there's the under. Still breaking bit. hearts there. You must be the outsider everyone's talking about. I'm Linda Schuller. If you ever need medical attention, this is the place to come. Ooh, alright. Cool. Oh, she can perform cybernetic surgery too. Awesome. Bye. This will become like a new place where I can uh, grab some stuff. Assuming that those laser things are a weapon lab of some sort. Yes, they are. Ooh. Welcome to the range. Feel free to use any open lane. Um, am I allowed to use the range? Sure. The Elder's already given the okay. Unfortunately, you'll have to use your own weapons and ammo. Okay. Bye. And there's a weapon salesman, right? Ooh. You, you must be the stranger I've been hearing about. Sorry, Sorry but I'm strictly, strictly forbidden, forbidden from offering our tech to outsiders, outsiders like, like yourself. yourself. Besides, I'm a little busy right now. Oh man. We'll have to do some questing before we do that then, I guess. Let me just check this room again. There's someone sleeping in here. Nah, he's gonna like see me dead. Alright, let's find this elder then. I think he's the other way. Hey, a Taurus. By the way, never mind. I was going the right way. I can't wait to see what kind of energy weapons they sell. Speaking of that, I should probably go see um, the Silver Rush at some point since they also sell some energy weapons. Quests. Like so. Just check the map. 
Okay, I'm close. This way. Okay, level two. They're fantastic. Right, I guess I come through here then. Hey, hey Ramos. Let's see what's over here. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> Scheme for the Plasma Fist version three. I don't even have the Plasma Fist version one. Functioning super sledge for cryo rounds. Mark sixteen what is this. I'm a little confused by this one. I'm a forty. Uh, it's a forty millimeter platform semi auto. Good recoil system, from what I can tell. I don't believe these were ever fielded, as we have no notes of the device itself. I suspected it was a prototype model. However, it seems to share many internal components with the light machine gun class, despite the receiver being as beefed up as it has been. Uh, those 40s are wide, but they don't have a lot of kick to them. Uh, as it is, I think we can get the Mark 16 um, back up and running. We just need to score some extra um, light machine gun parts without tearing down the ones we've already got in stock. I'm going to guess that the Model 1 uh, it has something to do with the adjustable stock and rail forward and just hunch. Alright, I'll take a look at it. Friggin' thing sounds like it's breathing. That's always awful. Oh, plasma... what? What did I just pick up? Was that a plasma light machine gun? Certainly friggin' looks like it. <gasps> Certainly friggin' looks like it. Oh my gosh. What does it look like? Hello. Oh, that looks fantastic. That looks fantastic. Uh, let me repair that a few. Maybe two more. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be awesome. I do want to grab a few of these Hello, other things, though. Okay, can I use my stealth nanobot? Yes. No, I don't want to work there. This. Gotta get into this. Hello, outsider. Wait, does he see me? Okay, no. Thank goodness for those nanobots. They give me just a few seconds. Cryo revolver. So wait, I got a schematic. For wait, it shoots forty millimeter grenades. The F. I thought they were talking about actual bullets. No, they're talking about grenades. Damn, son, this is gonna be awesome. Um, let's see. To see what was the what are the schematics for these oh cryo rounds it allows you to make cryo rounds okay cool um, scheme for the Padre Tesla what? what the hell is this oh gosh I need like a lot of stuff plasma fist version three snipe some with a grenade uh, yeah I'll need to find the takes a little getting used I think to he said I need some sort of light machine gun. 
to be able to repair it. Evening. <laughs> You're right, the impact will most likely kill them. <laughs> but the grenade's a nice bonus. Oh boy. So I need to talk to the Elder, who's apparently- Oh gosh, that's- Wait, what? Why is it bringing me to the auto dis- No. What? I can hardly notice that lazy eye anymore, Watkins. I'm surprised you're not wearing that hood to hide your hair like you usually do, Veronica. Oh, it's like some sassy yeah? shit going on. Bye. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. Is it your birthday? Hmm. Where's the elder? I don't know why, but it keeps trying to bring me to the computer to self-destruct the place. The takes a little getting used to, does it? Do I have the right quest? Yeah, speak to Elder um, Merit in the control room. Why does it want me to go here? <laughs> I got you. The grenades are presents. So, where the hell's uh, the elder? I'm missing something. I just want to check out. Oh, I can make a weapon repair kit. It's always nice to have. Duct tape, that's the limiting factor most of the time, strangely enough. Uh, oh yeah, ammo is what I wanted to look at. Ammo. I want... Cryo round, which is a cooling unit, which I've never found before. A fission battery and a shot glass. A cooling unit? I guess you... It's a rare drop from robots, maybe? Ooh, I can make homemade fl Ooh, flamer fuel. Apparently, I need corn for and sugar bombs. I guess that works. Yeah, maybe. Get the tool cam. Just checking if there's Scratch any more tires. secrets. It's your favorite student. Uh, I, th I think we're good. I think we got all the weird stuff that we can in here. I just need to find this elder dude. Maybe he's this way. Could be napping. Oh no, wait, this looks right. Whoa! Whoa, those look cool. <laughs> it's not mace, it's ma maze. But I see what you're saying there. When Paladin Ramos informed me that Veronica was approaching with an outsider in tow, at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here, though you'd remain Veronica's responsibility. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Only if I get really cool shit, so yes. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, Teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. Okay, I'll begin look immediately. What else do we say? I'll begin looking immediately. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. 
I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Hell yeah. We did find one of them at, um... Yeah, yeah, at the Nellis so, field base. Whoa. you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble, and he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Sure, go ahead. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years, and those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by, and many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations, and all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. Okay. Uh, how do you propose to do that? I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters, so they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? I'll see what I can do. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. Okay, now... I believe... that... putting him in charge... doesn't allow you to have a truce with the NCR for some reason. I don't know why, but that's the case. So if I want to be NCR and I want to have a truce... truth... Uh, truce with the Brotherhood of Steel, I can't have that guy be the leader. The word came down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares. As if I didn't have other matters on my mind. I'll have to, I'll have to ch double check that again, but we'll have to see. Alright, show me what we got for sale. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Ooh, Take a look. Pistol focus optics. Plasma pistol. Oh, here's, um... We need one of these, I think. else he got. Let's actually just take a look at weapons. Ballistic Fist, Fat Man, Greased Lightning. Interesting. That's a lot of money. Marksman, Carbine, Mini Gun, Super Sledge, Thermic Lance, Tri-Beam Laser Rifle. Well, it's a little rich for my blood right now. Combat Armor Reinforced. The Hydra Config. Let's see what else he got. Flamer pistol and fruit heat sink. Plasma repeater. Extended magazine. I haven't even seen a plasma repeater yet. Mantis gauntlet laminated carapace. What's a good recharger for? Hmm. Is there anything I can sell to her? I think I can sell a few things. Oh gosh, I can't. It's too much money, apparently. Let's see. Uh, what else do I have? Crowbars? Marksman Carbine. A plasma Rifle. Single 
shotguns. All right, yep, that's good. Awesome. Give me a shot if you need. Okay, so let's check out. We have this thing, which needs. <clears throat> I need to convert it over. Damn it. So there's Gunrunner's Arsenal weapon mods, and there's non-Gunrunner's Arsenal weapon mods. So what I have to do is use the conversion, I think, yeah, here we go. Conversion to regular plasma pistol accelerator. There we go. Plasma weapon accelerator. Nice. Okay, so this can use one, so for projectile speed. I think, I believe, I'm just gonna quick save, that this thing goes through ammo so quickly it's not even worth using. We're gonna try it though. That's eh, all right. I think we'll, we'll put on the, the Hauke Gauss and then. Increases attack damage. Does it actually change the, uh, the appearance at all? Doesn't look like it. But yeah, it makes the the damage 52. Holy crap! 52 is is not bad at all. I mean, 52 is just about as much damage as the Watts laser rifle. Friggin' hey. It might be on to something. Strangely enough. Plus, there's more mods I can add to it. Make it more accurate. Add a scope. Alright. Anywho. I'm just glad I have that open now. Let's go find that. We found one at the Nellis Air Force Base. But apparently, there were two people, not just one. So I might have to take a look at the gate again. Because we found one. One lady, I think, who had power armor. But if there's two people with power armor, we gotta go check it out again. And we already have the, um... I think we have the note from them as well. It was like a general reconnaissance thing. But of course, since they went near Nellis Air Force Base, they were blown to smithereens. Let's go on the map. We're gonna take a look outside again because I remember one lady in a pit, but apparently there's there were two people based on that dialogue, so I wanna see if we can't pick up some more power armor. Because why not? <laughs> okay. So let's see here. Let's check this burnout bus. I'm assuming they'll still be here. Wherever they were. I'm not sure if their corpses would still be there after all this time, but we'll have to see. Let me despawn or something. I mean, it's tough to, you know, miss a dude in full power on the way. What the hell was that noise? may have dislodged itself or something. Oh, 
rocks. Hmm. Starting to think that they probably despawned. Or at least the other person despawned, who knows. I think the other person might have spawned them. That's alright, we can find more then. Alright, so where's the other one then? We've got... Repcon Headquarters. And, oh, there's somewhere close to the buy, so let's check that one first, then we'll go to the Repcon Headquarters. Okay, so it's this one? Oh, this way. Of course, it's night time and you can't see crap in the hidden valley bunker at all. Uh oh. Oh crap, what is it? Oh, stop! <gasps> wouldn't it? So I can friggin' see stuff? Whoa! My screen's a little bit darker than I actually broadcast, so sometimes things are like pitch black and I can't see anything, but you guys are fine. It's weird how it works like that. Oh snap. Let's try to use the Hakagausen. was awesome. Um, that friggin' worked. And I love that it just uses BBs. It's not like any complicated weapon like ammo at all. It's friggin' BBs. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Sometimes it's dark for me, but it's not dark for you guys. That is too funny. Alright, let's get closer. This gun is ridiculous. Oh shit, it sees me. Oh crap. It's shooting goo at me. Right in the tongue. You have to use yeah yeah it's a it's a crafted thing. I'm not sure what adds it. Maybe supplementary uniques. Centaur blood. Ew. Um. Oh, of course it's irradiated, right? Oh hey, this is the little section that's near Black Mountain. Mo. Oh, there's another one. There we go. But yeah, it's it's. A, I think it's from supplementary uniques, and you use it. Um, it's a BB gun, a recharger rifle. Um, a plasma weapon accelerator. Oh gosh. Alright, let me, uh, get some Radex going here. Steel Paladin. Fusion cells. Looks like he was the only guy here. And Mo, who's empty. I don't know who Mo is. Get out of this weird place.
Oh, hey, dead prospector. Absent, sure. Slave scarf. I've never seen that before. Alright then. There is a take all button, yes, there is. <laughs> yes. Sometimes I just like to take everything individual and be like, yes, I've earned every single thing here. I'll take this, and this, and this. That's how I roll sometimes. Let's recharge your pistols, fantastic. How much damage does it do? Because I kill things quite easily with this. 21 damage. It seems to do a lot more, though. It seems to do a lot more. I just want to check out what's over here, because it's friggin' A. I hope it's going in this game. Oh, it damages armor, that's why. I see why. Okay, that makes me- Oh, shit, no. Hey. Shit, girl. Apparently there's giant rad scorpions? Need a lever carbine scope. A BB custom mechanism to upgrade this. Alright. I got a sneak attack critical in the giant rad scorpion. And killed it. I can't believe this. It's a freaking BB gun. Like it's not like anything too crazy at all. It's it's a BB gun. <laughs> Just like some hyper-powered BB gun. Oh my god. I can't, it's just, it's blowing my mind that this is so effective as a weapon. And it only uses BBs. Oh my god. Is that Scorpion Gulch? I don't think I need the clans at all. AG Supplementary un Uniques is like the coolest mod ever. It just adds so many new unique weapons to the game. What is this? It's a... It's a 9mm. Semi-machine? Semi-auto? Oh my gosh. Gotcha. That is too effing cool. That is cool. Oh well, I kind of clipped through it, but... Oh gosh! I'm feeling a little woozy. Oh god! That is too effing cool. <laughs> Whoa! Oh gosh! Oh, the poison's coming on strong. Um... Anti-venom. Okay, we're gonna try a bitter drink. Heal without stim packs if I can. This area is crazy. <laughs> Veronica, I need you to be serious. I need you to suck the venom out. <laughs> Where'd you get bit? Uh, 
Well, about that. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I think we found what we needed to. I guess the sand cat. only other place we need to go is the Repcon facility. And then we'll have all three locations taken care of for the um, reconnaissance. Although, I'm not sure if I'm going to hand it in right away because I am going to have to look up what's the best way to uh, um, like the best way to handle this. How may I serve you, master? Because you have to be careful with like the quests and the way that you do them right now, because they can definitely alter how the rest of the game can go. Either I can have the Brother of Steel survive, or I can't, is basically what it comes down to. Based on who I decide to run with and allow to be a leader and stuff like that. All right. I remember this place, and I remember it is quite important to have a high science. I don't think I have that highest science yet. High of science? Science that good? Grammar. I never ever promised that I was good at grammar when I started the stream. And I never will. How may I serve you, master? Secrets in the bathroom stalls. There's gotta be one. There isn't! I am surprised. Usually, there's something. Like, I got like something in my eye. Radix or something? A syringe? Psycho? Usually you find Psycho in toilets. I don't know why that's a thing, but you do. Huh, wow. That is the first empty black bathroom I've been in. I'm disappointed. Uh, filing cabinets, alright. There's some goo. There's empty things. How may I serve you, mistress? Lunchboxes. Ooh, a rocket souvenir. Cool. I'll add that to my collection. Sunset Cesarilla Star Cap. Though I really don't even need it anymore. Because I already bought, got Pew Pew. I can open this. Awesome. I'm very glad that I was able to upgrade my lock picking to 75. Take it. Sunset Cesspool. Ooh, big book of science. Oh, hell yeah. Nuka Cola Victory, Nuka Cola Quartz. Oh, yeah. Give me everything. Goodbye, Rocketeer. Be sure to visit again. Oh, and please. Oh, yeah. Alright. Um, big book of science. For your own Christmas. safety, stay outside of restricted areas. Rockets and stuff. Alright, cool. <laughs> the extremely weird antenna, Eddie. The whoa, rocket. What is this? Some freakish. What is this? The hand in handy? Never have too many hands. Three, why not four? That was Robocos inspiration. <laughs> so it just has an extra hand. Awesome. Looks like an actual car. That looks like a super sentry. It's awesome. Crap, what? Is this trespassing? I have lost karma, apparently. Cool planetarium. What do we got up here? Got a Jenny Millet security key card. That will come in handy in this place. Other floors are restricted and they require you to have um, a 
far to, uh, in order to continue. Now the real question is, does Project Nevada fix the weird bug where you can't get up to the third floor? For some reason there's, there's a, there's a well-known bug where you can't go to the, um, you can't go to the third floor at all because it's just totally restricted. Alright, what do we got? Capture. Is he recorded? No. Carpeted. No, nah, carpeted was close though. Alright, let's find these open and closed parentheses. And hopefully remove some duds and get an allowance back. Even all it does. Lots are replenished. Another dud removed. Stuff. Ooh, there's a larger one. Another dud removed. Okay. Gather. Gather. All right. That work. And what was that? To disengage the lock. What is the lock? Oh, I had the key. Apparently the whole time! Uh, her security key card. What's this one? Advertise. Ooh, advertise close! Um... Hmm... Advertise. Amplifies? No, that's, that's way off. Um... Advertise. a tough one, I'm not sure. And it wasn't amplified. So. Otherwise? Otherwise. Alright, cool. It was close. Alright. Add user facial data de database. Oh, okay, cool. So I got first floor access now. Nice, another sunset says for the star. Come on. Oh, hell. oh, plasma pistol. Oh, microfusion. All the microfusion cells. Oh my gosh. Had I known that there were that many microfusion cells and a plasma rifle. Take an empty syringe, because at least you can make a stim pack with those. Take those. Oh my cow. How many microfusion cells do I have now? An electron charge packs. This is the place to be. What do we got now? Oh hell yeah. That's on Balance talking. facial pattern detected. I was good. If it wasn't, he would have chased me out of here, actually. Okay, that isn't working. Oh, yeah. All the microfusion cells. Hell yeah. All the caps. Ah, oh, very hard. Aw, oh, damn it, they're very hard. Second floor. Now we have, might have to sneak here. Actually, I'm not sure if I have second floor access yet. Hmm. It's a computer. Hopefully, I can add my facial recognition stuff to it. Let's see. Okay, it's one way to do it. Yep, here we go. And facial data, nice. Nikola Tesla and you, hell yeah. Finding some good skill books. Which one is today? I'm just checking to see if there aren't any more that I sort of left behind. Nikola Tesla and you. Increased energy weapons by four. Hell yeah. 
think we're good though. So we are good. We don't have to sneak anymore. Like some cleaner. Took some time. Hey, Kraken. I did, I did, don't worry. Hello, Mrs. Millis. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. Oh, okay, so Mrs. Millet was one of those people. Okay, cool. Sunset Sasquatch. Ooh, this is a hard locked one. Ooh, I didn't even know I could do this one. All right, uh, what do we got? Conversation. Production. Ooh, production's really close. Protection. Protection's even closer. All right. Doug moved. Doug moved. Duds. There we go, an allowance replenished. Let's see how many more duds we can remove before we continue. That way you don't have to guess as much. Let's see. Is this oh. Alright, looks like we're good. Now which one protection was was really close? Projection, probably. There we go. Nice. Print executive security badge. Nice. Executive security badge printed. That, yep, third floor. Awesome. Yep, you were right, Sai. You were right. Very large security key card, isn't it? I mean, look at that thing. It's like the size of my head. Where do you even keep that? I mean, I, I get that you, you want to be able to see this thing, but like, you, you can't just slip that in your back pocket. Like, that that thing's. Jeez. You, you, I guess you hold it like a book and bring it with you. Take it. Okay, so they did add a fix. That's really nice. So I will be able to go to the third floor and not have to, like, run away from different stuff. Because this place is actually... I, 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 if I recall, this place is booby-trapped, and certain secret walls will open up and, like, have, like, crazy crap just go nuts. Okay, so wait, that's the third floor? Terminal easy. Appears? No. Topple? Topple's close. Sometimes there aren't enough opening and close parentheses. I'm not sure. 
I think there is always one. Or at least, that's what I've been told. There's a lot of nothing, though. Like, toppled? And we did proceed. Adopted. Adopted is apparently what it is. Alright, anything here? Ooh, encrypted message. I managed to get the password to Isa's computer. Uh, I'll follow it uh, with the release notes on the Q35. The prototype is going to be stopping here on its way to the Department of Defense. Uh, you should be able to intercept it um, on the road. Q35 release notes. Okay, let's see. Quantum Plasma Modulator Matter Injection Rifle. Status failure. Notes. While version uh, 3.2, or version 32, um, didn't have the power yield of the... Um, version 31 or 30, we managed to increase the stability um, thresholding by approximately 27.35%. Um, this is a promising, however, we need, we have yet to come up with a solution to the matter inversion issue, status failure, uh, lab destroyed, data lost. Okay, well then, that's a little severe. We'll take an atomic cocktail. Don't they add, like, I forget what it is. They add tons of rads, don't they? It gives you just 12 rads, but it gives you energy resistance. It's actually a decent thing to drink if you're fighting dudes with lasers. This place is just filled with crazy experience and riches. Damn it, really? There we go. Of course, for a hoarder like my character, this place is a gold mine. Uh, I'll take all those things. Fission batteries. I think I can use fission batteries for making ammo at some point. Nice, more microfusion cells. Kind of stealth boy, hell yeah. Although I am now over encumbered. Veronica? Actually, where'd Veronica go? There you are. What are you doing over there? Should have brought some. Aw, oh, just with. What's up? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, goodbye. See you around. I need you to carry. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Yes. I've got about. Oh gosh, I have like. I forgot I'm carrying like friggin' power armor with me. Uh, how's your power armor? I need to repair that for you. Yeah, she needs better armor. Or at least it needs to be repaired better. Yeah, we can, we can do better than that. Okay, how's it much? Yeah, 25 now. Yeah, that's much better. All right. Ooh, got something good for me? <gasps> Is go. it a dress? Take that. Also, take conductors. I just have thousands of them. By thousands, I mean 49. Take like 12. I need to take more than 12. Take 9 more? I think I calculated that the weight that I can carry... Hey, I Ooh. can't... Okay, well, never mind. That's fine. Hello, Mrs. Millet. I hope... Stop bothering me. Mrs. Millet is tired. It is annoying how they always initiate dialogue with you, but it's just to, to check if you're Mrs. Millet, which apparently I am. Maybe that's why they call me Madam sometimes. For some reason, I don't know why, but like... Ooh, the certain NPCs will call me Madam, and I'm not sure if they're calling me Madam or they're calling Veronica Madam. Very strange. I really don't know what that what it's all about. Okay, I do need some more pilot lights. Because I need to add in my collection, of course. Uh, let's see. Oh gosh. Can I just Yeah I can. <laughs> Apparently I can do that. Just jump up and open a door. Now I actually have access. Which is not normal. Normally 
although you can do your very best, you can't gain access and be able to be on the third floor of this place without, like, destroying everything. Really? Wow. I'm, I'm usually accustomed to having bathrooms have stuff in them. Alright, just recognize me. Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify- Oh wow, what? Oh wow, it still doesn't work. Never mind. Invalid response. You have- Shit. Well then, what did I get then? I thought for certain it said I got third floor access. Hmm. That's very weird. It seemed to try to add... I guess it was net. I, I think it was never added in the game or something like that. Like it's always an issue? I mean, it doesn't... I guess it doesn't matter. We can always go for it. We're powerful enough that we can take on it, a lot of stuff, so it doesn't matter if we have to take on the whole third floor of robots and secret robots that bust out of walls. Sunset Sasperil is actually pretty good for, um... <gasps> No way! That is it! The Q35 Matter Modulator. I thought you would have to get... Ooh! And a peculiar crate. This isn't normal. This isn't... This isn't vanilla. What is this? The Little Lawrence Magnetic Power Amplifier Kit. Who would have thought that science could be so fun? This kit will greatly increase the damage potential of a standard electromagnetic railgun. So that is a special mod kit that I can eventually use for an item. Ooh, more Nikola Tesla and you and microfusion cells. This place is just microfusion heaven. Also, we're gonna have to like super modify like everything. Did I just take dirty water? Ew. Oh, I guess. Oh, this was that door that was very hard. Valid one. facial pattern detected. Oh, shut up. Yeah, that was that very hard one. So you could have just gone in here, I guess, and opened it up, but we, uh. I guess we snuck down through a broken hole in the ceiling. Awesome. Alright, well, let's. Let's go and do this then. We're gonna go and where's my plasma rifle? Yeah. We'll take all these things off of our plasma rifle and put them on the Q5, Q35 matter modulator. Oh snap, it looks awesome. So that's gonna be three, no two. Do I not have um I didn't actually have it slotted for anything. But I like the the scope for it. Give this a try. It's got like a different reticule for it, which is cool. Alright, well we're going to the third floor and we're probably gonna have to mess some stuff up. Based on the fact that even though it said we had third floor access, apparently we don't. So we're just gonna try to kill everything right away, I guess. It's weird, in third person you can actually see the lightning in those things, but in first person you can't. It's kind of weird. Flame or 
people. Oh, we can't access that either. Yeah, we're just gonna have to take care of all robots on this floor. We seem to be doing all right, though. We haven't we haven't set off any alarms, which I'm very surprised about. What is my science, by the way? Seventy-nine. No, we can't do it. Now we need we need eight. Wait, we might be able to. I just need mentats and a, I forget the magazine. Mentats, which will increase my signs to 83, plus another 20 from Programmer's Digest, and we can open this. Encounter. No, it is not that. Transmission. Transmission's closer, but it doesn't have, so it doesn't have ING, it doesn't end in SION. Authenticity? Not even close. Right, we're gonna try that again. It's gotta give me at least something. I hate when it takes longer the second time. Uh, disappearing. Not even close. So it's not apprehensive. It's not even that. Successfully. There we go, nice. I can just disable robots. Well, the option's there. The option is there. Oh, hey, there's a... Tyler Isley's briefcase. See, here's another third floor security card. And 200 pre-war money. Nice. For some reason, it doesn't work. There's a brother to steal Paladin. Ooh, what is that? Funda! And a Watts with laser rifle. That's the one I have. Funda! What is that? Charger Super Coil, Pulse Gun Recycler Core. What is it though? Is it a. Is it an EMP? It does a ton of damage! What the hell is it? It uses 15 friggin'. What it, wait, 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 what does it use? Oh, it uses electron charge packs. And it uses 15 at a time to do that. Holy shit. That's awesome. I mean, we might be done with this place, technically. Just want to check out if there's anything. Could unlock safe. Where the safe is. Although I'd like to find it if I can. There it is. Oh. This safe? No, no, no. We can get this. gonna make tons of money from this. Holy crap. Ooh! A kinetic accelerator implant. Ooh. That might be something good. Scotch. I think I can open the hidden door. There appears to be some automated door hidden behind this wall. Okay, let's jam the opening thing.
Did it open? Or did I jam it? I think I jammed it. Oh, so you can jam that door because I think there's a Securetron behind there that pops out. But I think I killed every robot on this floor so it doesn't matter. So I guess that works. I guess we did it. I right, believe we'll they're head to the first floor. I guess I could have done that easier by going to the floor that I got the um, Q35 modulator from, but we're alright. Valid facial pattern detected. Shut up. I'm surprised the alarms didn't get raised there. I'm very surprised. Alright, now we got two things of power armor there, so I can probably repair my armor a little. And how about Veronica's? Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Let's repair Veronica's a little more. both got like the same sort of durability. Actually, my armor's just a bit less effective than hers, but it looks more awesome. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Okay. All right, cool. Let's head back to the Brother of Steel. So I think there's a few things we can get. Mission statement. All right, so these are all the mission statements. When you actually go here, you're right in front of that hollowed out rock. Amazing. Is there any other, like... I think there is one more hidden bunker, actually, over here. Somewhere. I remember one where there was a ranger in it or something. Okay, so there is one more. I also remember there being a lot of scorpions. Or maybe that was the way we went last time. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's scorpions over here. Whoa! I just see scorpions flying and explosions. That works. It's actually really weird to recharge your pistol because you don't have to reload it. It's like really awkward because every once in a while I'll try to reload it and it'll be like, why isn't it reloading? doing it automatically, <laughs> not even realizing it. Alright, let's see. Okay. I'm assuming we got another down like rock wall here. Maybe? like an NCR ranger holed up somewhere. I think that was that one earlier that we were looking at, but I just didn't see his body anywhere. That's kind of weird. Oops. <laughs> Maybe that was a bit overkill. Alright, let's head back to the bunker. I think there's a few weapon mods we can get. Ooh, we can get cybernetic surgery too and see what that thing is that we got. This is the right one, right? No, this is the right one. It's a red scorpion thing? Yeah, it is, okay. Oh, 
no, not the laser sticking out of my butt. It happens a little too often that I'd like to admit. <laughs> you know when you just holster your, you know, laser weapon and then all of a sudden, oh, it's in my butt. It, it happened again. If I had dual pistols, I could have like one from each ass cheek. And then I could just like run and be like, pew, 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 pew. Just shoot lasers out of my ass. Fantastic. Let's see if we can talk to that hey, one lady. Who I think is over here. Yes, you. Hello, can I help you with? All right. Let's see cybernetic surgery. If you wish. All right. Now I got something. Kinetic accelerator implant. What does that do? Two times bullet time attack and reload speed. Ooh. Used to speed up the movement of various body parts. Ooh. Interesting. So wait. What if I install that on a leg, say? Ooh, sprint. Um... Sprint slows down time. What? So I can either reload faster, which sounds insane, because I already reload really fast. Um, or sprinting slows down time. And apparently I can get two of these. So I'll be like... Oh my gosh. Okay, so you can have multiple kinetic accelerators. I see what this is. Um, wow. Well, we gotta install this because this sounds awesome. Because my other one is a weight absorber, isn't it? Yeah, it's the weight absorber that adds carry capacity. Do I have any other kinetic enhancements? I have the lungs and the nanobots. Okay, we're gonna accept that because that sounds awesome. So maybe we'll be able to like dodge stuff easier. Alright, so let me let me check this out. So I go. So wait, what? I don't see any difference at all. Like they should be walking slower if I'm We're gonna go for reload speed because at least I can see that easier. Hello, can I help you? Yeah, I need uh, cybernetic surgery, so I need you to take this thing out of my leg and put it into my arm. Okay, so remove that, and we're gonna put it in my arm. Now, if we're going for reload, I guess the left hand's the best hand. Not that I don't think it matters, but except. How are you, Scribe Schuler? Quite well. Thank you for asking, Veronica. She's doing surgery on me. Don't interrupt her. <laughs> Evening. Alright, so I should be able to reload even faster, which is ridiculous. Hi there. Looking to spend some caps? Yes. Show me what you have for sale. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Okay, let's see. I can sell you some of this. She's already, like, alright, sure. We'll see what we can get from her. I like how it has an exclamation point. Like, it's it's not enough that it's, oh, I can, I'm gonna repair that with that, actually. Anything, I need mean, greased lightning and a plasma pistol. Plasma high definition cap terminal. Plasma defender sheath stabilizer. I want to get a plasma defender at some point, so I kind of want to get that. And a plasma defender high. Oh yeah, let's get that too. It's a little expensive, but we can work with it. 
I still haven't found a plasma repeater. I think. So, let's see, what else do we have? Pulse gun recycler core? I don't think that's what I need. We'll accept that for now. Another satisfied customer. Ooh, is there anything I can help her with? If you must know, my inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short. Somehow we're missing a laser pistol. Harden will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon. I can't delay my report to him any longer. Okay. Um, I could go look around for the pistol. If you happen to find it, bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Ooh, nice. I want to check out this, this even more rapid reload. If it's possible. Okay, let's do it with lots of ways around. Well, that's Pew Pew. Actually, what would take the longest to reload? I would think probably Riveter would take the longest to reload. Let's just quick save. Okay, I'm reloading that. It does seem a little faster. Let me check that again. It seems a little faster. I probably shouldn't be using that doors. How do you Was everyone? Yeah, it seems pretty fast. That's pretty awesome. I think what I'm going to do is we'll go to the uh, the second floor, but I'm not going to hand in the quest yet, because I have to do a little bit of research first How's the old cage? and see what's what's the right thing to do in this situation, because I want I want the Brotherhood to survive, but I'm pretty sure that if you try to make Harden the new dude... Oh, hey Preston, how's it going? I'm pretty sure if you make Harden the new guy, then... Actually, I'm going to look this up. What is this quest called? It's still in the dark. Yeah, I think if you... if you, Yeah, Paladin Harden. I think if you make him leader, for some reason, the NCR won't allow a truce. So I'm just going to look that up quickly. I might as well do it now. Here. Look for. Let's see. Quests. It is weird that you reelect a different leader, and for some reason they just. I guess his personality refuses to join with the NCR. I guess it makes sense. It's just a little off, I guess. Let's see. Let me move it aside so I can actually see what I'm doing. Unfortunately, like, the frickin' wiki that I use is just awful. Because it has so many ads, you can barely even move through it at all. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, it seems to have calmed down now. It's called In the Dark. Let me see. Still in the dark. Okay. Okay. Still in the dark. And let's see. Air Force Base. Yep, we got all the things already. Okay, ousting Nakamura. If he chooses to help Paladin uh, by researching, let's see. Let's see. 
notes. Uh, it is still possible to become a paladin without completing the optional quest. Oh my gosh, Preston, hell yeah. I, I watched the conference, it was amazing. Like, it really was. The thing that blew me away, like, honestly, was first, what blew me away was the fact that in Fault 4 you'll be able to build your own, like, fortress, basically. Scrap anything you find and use that to build, like, barricades and turrets and, like, places for merchants and farms to feed people. Like, you basically make your own city, almost. Um, and then, friggin' A, you almost jumped off your seat. It was, it's insane. Okay, favorite Harden moves up and lower. Do, 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 do. I, I can't remember. How does this work? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, <laughs> White Glove Society. Awesome. And, um, oh, yeah. What caught you off? Yeah, the helicopter and the jetpacks that you can friggin', like, use a canister and, and friggin' a helicopter comes out of effing nowhere and that you can have friggin' rocket propulsion on your power armor. Amazing. Let's see. No, when I, the thing that, like, I lost my shit. I honestly lost my shit when, they, when I saw the crafting stuff. When I saw the, the crafting of the weapons. That was when I lost my shit. Because they give that little example of like, this is how this is a sh scope that you can make. Hey, Lord Nervar. It's like, this is how you can make a scope. Here are the things that you can use. You get screws, steel, that thing. And then all of a sudden, like, it shows the weapon customization. And it shows a laser, like, pistol. And then it's like, no, you can use all these things. Oh my gosh. If there's one thing I need to do, it's to get a better computer so I can give that game its justice when it comes to looking good. Alright. I'm still... Does anybody remember this? That... I seem to remember this. Yeah, we're talking about Fallout 4, yeah. You thought the jetpack didn't look interesting? It might be, it, you know, it's. It, I think it's more like a double jump. Like, you can't really, like, use it to actually, like, propel, propel yourself far. Okay, so you can oust Nactamera. You know, it's weird. Do any of you guys remember how this works? The, um, I'm doing the Brotherhood of Steel stuff right now. No, that Pip-Boy thing, like, I'll be in my inventory, like, longer than usual now because of how cool the frickin' Pip-Boy looks now. 